With the air conditioners behind me, you can see that in moderate temperatures, they don't consume very much electricity. In eco mode, 450 watts of consumption. In high cool mode, 850 watts of consumption in about 70 degrees ambient temperatures. We can expect those temperatures to rise through the summer, and with that, we'll see our energy consumption rise as well. But remember that when you are going further in comfort, you don't need the largest battery bank possible. But what you do need is you need the best air conditioner on the market. And behind me, the 12 and 24 volt nomadic cooling rooftop air conditioners are by far the best air conditioner on the market today. Okay, on this side, we have a 24 volt black air conditioner. This is the new Nomadic Cooling X3 in 24 volt. With the same compressor over here, just different power inputs. We have over here a 110 to 12 up to 64 volt converter right here. Over here, we have the same thing. This one's set at 12 volts. And right over here, we have our 12 volt air conditioner. It's less than 70 degrees in here in the studio today. So I have to do this test a little bit differently. We're gonna do an eco mode test and we're gonna do a high cool test. Now remember, the power consumption does go up as the ambient temperature increases. We do know that. It's gonna use less power on an 80 degree day than on a 110 degree day. The other thing I really want you to notice is that everything at Nomadic Cooling, we give you the worst case scenario as it comes down to how much amps these things use. The 12 volt version we say is 100 amp compressor. That means the total air conditioner uses 100 amps. That scares a lot of people, but it's important for us to give you the worst case scenario so that you can understand how what's the shortest amount of time and the longest amount of time this thing will use. Let's go over here to the 12 volt. Let's start over here. You'll notice we have a 12 volt system set up and a 24 volt system. We're gonna start the new Nomadic Cooling X3 with 12 volts. So all I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn this thing on. I'm going to turn the fan all the way up. Because it's not that hot in here, the air conditioner will cycle itself off pretty quick. So we need to get this amp draw number uh, before it cycles off. So right now we're in eco mode. It's using about 50 amps at 12 volts. But what I want you to see, what happens here is it's gonna start at the 52. It goes from zero all the way up to the 52. Once the air conditioner starts working, starts powering up, within about a minute, we're gonna see this number go down. So let's just take a look at that for a second. Right now, the air is coming out sort of cold, but not that cold. You notice here the number is starting to drop, okay? And let's just give it a little bit of time and see where it settles out. So we're at about 66 degrees inside the studio over here right now. Not that hot. We're in eco mode. We're at about 45 amps. That should settle down right into the 38 number once the air conditioner is up and rocking. Okay, so now it's going down a little bit more. 39 peaks up a little bit. Now these are variable speed compressors that are pulse width modulated, which means they can go up and they can go down based on what the computer inside the board is telling it to do. Now you're seeing, so it went from 52, now we're down to 39. Well, we should see this in eco mode in this temperature sort of stop right around the 38 number. We're using right about 444 watts. Now remember that number because we're going to compare the two, the 12 and the 24, and in order to do that, we're going to be using watts. You'll see that this will start flooding away right, right at about 38. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and point this right up here. And let's see if we're getting colder yet. So right now, it's been on for about a minute. We're getting about 38 degrees out of the air conditioner right now, okay? It'll go all the way down to 32. Once it hits 32 degrees, because it's not that hot in here, the compressor will cycle itself off. It won't run uh, once it hits freezing. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the 12 volt version. Now we wanna get the 
total spectrum, we want to get the power consumption when we first turn it on to when we go down to then turning it off to turning it back on in high cool mode. So that's what we're going to do. So right now it's, it's off, it's using zero at 12 volt. Let's do the same exact uh, test over here with the 24 volt system. We're at 23.9 on the voltage. Right now I'm going to go ahead and just turn this on by pressing the power button. I'm going to turn on high fan. I can do that right here. It's in eco mode and it's going to start. We're starting right here at about 19 amps. We're at about 20 amps right now. Now, one of the big advantages with a 24 volt system is as you go up with voltage, you go down in wire size. As you go down in wire size, you reduce the amount of heat within a system. Now, the 24 volt has a smaller range. So it's, we just turned it on, we'll wait a minute. It'll, it'll narrow down to right about 18 uh, amps at 24 volt. So we're here, like I said, 66 in the studio. Let's see what our air temperature is coming out. We just turned this on. So right now it's at 41, not that cold. We haven't really given it enough time. And we'll give it just a little bit of time here. Now, the nice thing, since I have a little bit of time, is I'll tell everybody, this is the new Nomadic cooling control panel. This is your mode button. It'll tell you what your airs are. Fan speed is right here. Temperature up, temperature down. Obviously, this is power. 78 degrees uh, is you can just hit this one-click button, and it'll automatically do everything inside the vehicle to keep it at 68 degrees. Basically, the computer sets it for you. Now, the reason we have the fan speed all the way up is if we had the fan speed down, because it's not very hot in here right now, it would actually uh, hit freezing too quick. So let's go ahead and look up there. Still coming out at about 41 degrees. And we're still at the 20 amp mark. So 20 amps is about 450 watts there about. Let's see if we can get this to come down just a little bit more. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we're at 35 degrees coming out right now. We're still holding steady at the 20 amps. Okay, so I'm gonna go back up here. Does that come in on camera, Kenny? Yes, okay, so we're at 34 degrees, but it's less than two minutes for the thing to completely get from it being off to being cold. Okay, so we're right at the 20 amp mark again at 24 volts. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to now press the button to get it to high cool, okay? and I'm gonna turn the system off. The reason I wanna have it off is I want you to see the highest max that we can get right now. So it'll, it'll completely cycle off. We've had the 12 volt system off for, for a moment. So let's go ahead and try the high cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. I'm going to turn on high cool. And I'm gonna also hold the thermistor right here with my fingers. So you'll see that this number got up to 70. So we're right at 70 with the high cool. I have my fingers on here, so we're tricking the system to think it's hotter than it normally is. But I want you to see that it won't stay at 70. We're gonna see 70 as a high, and then it's gonna bring itself down once we start getting some cooling out of it. There it goes, slowly starts dropping. So down to 46, down to 45. 44. Okay, so if I do my math, okay, let's hold that for just a second. Let's see what kind of, now this has only been on for a few shakes of a lamb's tail and it's already coming out pretty cold. 38 degrees, now I don't know how long this has been on, but under a minute, right Kenny? So it's coming out, 35 degrees, coming out at 44 watts, or 44 amps, which let's do the math right here. Oh, 
okay, so we're at 44 times 12 equals 528. So 44, 528. And we saw 71, which gives us 852. Okay, so even though we're in high cool right now, Kenny, we're only at 38 amps. So the computer inside is basically cycling, bringing the compressor speed down because it is a variable speed compressor. So the, com the computer is saying, hey, we don't need to run that high. So when we tell everybody it's a 100 amp compressor, they freak out, and they, surprisingly so, because they think it's gonna be using 100 amps an hour. That's not true. It's 100 amps an hour at 100 degrees outside, okay? In these sorts of conditions and at night, you're gonna be seeing a lot lower amp draw. This is 12 volt, 100 amp compressor, and right now we're only using 38 amps, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Okay, you'll see it slowly goes down. Let's take a look at this one again. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and watch how this slowly goes up. Okay, 13, it's in high cool, 20, 28, 29. Okay, we have high fan speed, we're at 29. 696 watts, 29, 696 watts. And let's see if I can trick it with my fingers to go even hotter. Okay, so it doesn't want to go over 29. Uh, apparently it's too efficient for me to do a good job with this video. So at 29 times 24, we're at 696 watts. Now the other one, the 12 volt was at 528, okay? So what you're, you're seeing here is you're not saving watts necessarily by going to a 24 volt. You know, you're not, the watts consumption between the two is nominal. What you save is voltage, which means you save wire size and you save heat within your system. Now let's see the temperature coming out of this thing and we just turned it on. Thirty-five degrees coming out of the air conditioner. What we're trying to do is explain that the Nomadic Cooling Air Conditioner, although we sell it and promote it as having a 100 amp compressor, it actually can use a lot less. If you have a box, no matter which air conditioner you put on top of the box, it takes the same amount of electricity overall to remove the heat within the box. Whether you use a small air conditioner or a larger one, the only difference is the smaller air conditioner has to stay on twice the amount of time. The other difference is on a hot day, the smaller air conditioner will not be able to keep up with the internal temperature of the vehicle. But on a hot day, you do wanna be in shade, but at night on a 110 degree day, there is no reason with a Nomadic Cooling X3, you shouldn't be able to sleep underneath your air conditioner on your bed throughout the night. These have brand new pulse width modulated brushless fans that are quieter than our air conditioners going forward. And by far, they have gotta be about a billion times quieter than any AC powered rooftop air conditioner on the market. Those things you can't sit underneath them and have a conversation. These things you can. Now we're doing these tests in the middle of winter in Phoenix, it's a little less than 70 degrees out there. We will perform these tests again in the middle of summer to give you differentials of how it relates to your battery powered rooftop air conditioner between an 80 degree day and a 110 degree day. If you have any questions about your rooftop air conditioners or your electrical needs for your overland rig, give Nomadic Cooling a call today or go to nomadiccooling.com to learn more. Guys, let's go further in comfort together. Thank <laughs> you.